The Xanderson Pens podcast, episode 255 for Wednesday, December 20th, 2017. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Christmas is almost here. It oh is. My God. It's almost here. Yeah. A couple more days. Um, you know, I've got a confession to make. You hate it when they do that stuff right before we start, right? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> it's so much fun. I, I, I <laughs> Just before it turned on, I'm like, does my hair look okay? And he just <laughs> gives me a funny look. All right, so what's your confession? We've been together a long time, and I bet you didn't know. I'm <laughs> terrified of elevators. No, I didn't. Yeah, I'm starting to take steps to avoid them. Oh, you know, you said it was a groaner. You didn't tell me it was really bad. And all you people out there who are like, oh, I love Brian's jokes, I'm going to get you. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. According to who? Me. <laughs> all right. So what are we going to talk about? Because I have packing to do. You know, I just want to, I'm, I'm sure this is going to come up, so I just want to show everybody my coffee mug. Oh, my God. This is the we cutest did, We did a secret Santa. Ever, maybe? Tip it back a hair. There you go. Tip it back. Brooke. This is it my cat. Like my Brooke. cat is Brooke, and she's black, and there's a little tail, and there's little footprints. It's, we just need to put, like, with white out. She yeah, just a little, little thing. little tiny. There. Cutest mug ever, so. Yeah. Anyway. There you go. Awesome. What are we going to talk about? <clears throat> Beatles. Okay. We, uh, Are you going to sing? Didn't we no. talk about the Beatles? We did. We got the ballpoint. The fountain pen finally came in. Awesome. So, Mont Blanc, Beatles, fountain you know, pen. It's, it's kind of growing on me. This one, this one actually, I, I, I got to admit, I like it better than the ballpoint. Okay. The reason being is that this is a little more, I, I guess, the ballpoint Ooh, seems to, look at that. Oh, my God. The ballpoint seems to taper a little bit more. This seems to be a little bit more proportionate. We've got the piston knob on the bottom. Um, does it post? It does not really post. Well, you know, more than it's, some. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> but um, they got to work on that. Yeah, they're, they're, they're always so close. They're really close. Um, but the nib is cool. We had the nib on yes. Instagram last week. Uh, and, you know, it's the Apple, of course. Um, Speaking of Mont Blanc, we did pen spotting. Pen spotting, yes, we did. Yes. yes. Uh, so anyway, Beatles. You know, it sort of matches my sweater, and does it match? Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to this does, later. We, we've got, you know, we might as well talk about it yeah. right now. We've got the we've got the aqua in there. We don't really have the spot green, blue but we've and got lime the pink. Green. So I tell you what, buy this. I'll give you one of these for free. So. Just say Brian said so. There you go. Just so, write that uh, in the comments. Yeah. Brass Town Spa Blue to match your Sinclair. Uh, Bubblegum Princess. According to call. Kim, she likes the Sinclair better than the Brass Town. She didn't tell me why, but these are Kim's favorites. Um, and now here at AP, we call these the Bubblegum Princess because some of you who watch the Nib Noobs know that um, apparently when Kim was younger, uh, and I'm not sure if this was like, how much younger? She's Five not that old. or 16 or 22 that she had a pair of sneakers that were these colors. Um, Nike, I think they were. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Only instead of lime green, I can the see Nike, Nike doing swoosh that. was like yellow. Okay. So uh, everybody should comment on YouTube and ask Kim how old she was when she had those bubblegum princess sneakers because now I'm curious. Oh. So anyway. There it is. Uh, we have some paper. We do. Um, Field Notes came out with two new um, limited editions. Um, the Haxley, which is adorable. It's cute. It's very cute. Brings out the creative side, I think. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, one of them has Ooh, like that one. Oh, there's flashlights. I have a thing for flashlights. <laughs> there's flashlights on this one, too. Oh, my God. There yeah, are. He's got a squirrel. He's got squirrels. With squirrels with flashlights. I mean. Oh, my God. Who doesn't love a squirrel I, with flashlights? I know, right? Uh, one is blank, one, one is lined. Uh, the uh, the storybook cute. actually has little. That's adorable. Little pictures on each page, so you can actually create your own little story and. With flashlights. With flashlights, that one is just blank. <laughs> all right, enough with the flashlights. All right, I like flashlights. I know you do. Um, and also the uh, tenth anniversary, they dug deep into the archives and came. <laughs> I've been saying that for like twenty minutes. Um, you've got the old red from two thousand two. 
Uh, and then you have, and I, I had it written down and I don't remember which is which, but A couple one, of the first field notes. A couple of the very first, one from 05 and one from 07. Um, these two are graph, what's this one? Blank. blank. Yep. Cool. I love the red. Love the red cover. So, so those are cool. Pseudo reproductions. I think the uh, some of the other ones were a little bit different size, but they've yep. got them down to traditional field note size. So those are cool. Um, I do like the Haxley. That's cute. Um, you know, it's a good idea for Christmas is coming. Could be yours. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. No. You don't want to hear my. You don't want to see me write a story. Um, no. But anyway, I, I think it's a good idea. You know, it's a good way to get get kids involved too. Yes. You know, young kids. Here's a here's yes. a storybook and create a story. Yep. So, anyway, what else we got? This is That's this is all right. You. This is all me. I apparently. love these so boxes. We've shown these before. Love these boxes. Uh, Paniter has a new uh, new pen out. It's called the Key of Heaven, and I've got. Uh, I thought I was the key. Yeah, to you heaven. are. You are absolutely. Um, this is a great not. box. It comes Look at with. The little Bottles. Couple bottles of ink. These are How little cute. the little D bottles. They have the the pen rest on them. I haven't seen that. We've got some cards, some stationery that comes in here. What colors the other ink. That one's red. That one's a Brown? copper almost. Yeah. These ones are pretty. Uh, but even more, you know, it's a nice leather box. Um, but this pen is gorgeous. Um, I'm still it's on like the ink, a, but it's like a honey color. That is pretty. Um, and it has that that cool magnetic. I love that closure. Those. The nice feather, feather clip. Um, it's large size. Uh, it's going to be too large for you. It is too large for me. Um, no soup. For but me. it's a it's a it's a beautiful material. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's nice. And, yeah, it, and, it, and it writes itself. Me. So if I do it that way, it it finds the way it wants to go. True north. True north. <laughs> north or south. <laughs> um, nice uh, nice gold nib, two tone, cartridge converter. That's a pretty color. It's a it's a nice I, I hate to say it, it's a nice refreshing because uh, I, I don't like to use the word refreshing but a nice refreshing celluloid material. Um, it's not it's dark. Different. It's not um, it's stripes, overly done. Yeah, it's pretty. You know, it's not. Uh, you know, it's not the. Could be yours. It could be. I have other things on my Christmas list. Do you? So. Um, that's kind of the new stuff for the but 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 it's it's a nice looking pen. Yes. Um, it's about the size of the. Um, some of their other ones, like Bob Rondé, Belazzo. Well, hopefully <clears throat> the um, new stuff is going to taper off now that Christmas is basically here. Uh, we'll be doing inventory the next two weeks. <clears throat> oh, joy. Um, so hopefully everything flies off the shelves and we have nothing to count. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So. Um, we're not doing in your pocket, but we've got, what do we got here? We got rapid some fire. Yeah, rapid fire. Okay. Oh my God. Kim promised she <clears throat> didn't have a who do you love best on the staff question again. Okay. All right. So you ready? How many, how many do we have? Uh, a bunch. A bunch. All okay. right. Here we go. Favorite pen from 2017? Uh, that I own? Favorite the, pen from or, 2017. Or favorite one that came out. Favorite pen. If you're going to take too long, I'm going to go with Peacock. I was going to say Peacock because, <laughs> holy wow, what a great looking pen. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, well, what's your favorite pen other than the Peacock? Because that was, that was pretty easy. Was Slate in 2017? No, it was not no. in 2017. It um, was last December. That's a tough one. What else did I get? There were a lot of good pens. Cosmos. Purple Cosmos. Favorite non-sailor from 2017? Oh, now you're getting picky. Well, I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, you're right, though. Cosmos. <laughs> <laughs> Did they get a vanishing point? <gasps> yeah, Ooh, yeah. Technically, you got technically, I have... The Crimson. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. I've got a vanishing point, old school vanishing point that I am getting for Christmas in ice blue. Oh, my God. That's you know, that would, that would match this. No, almost. it would not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't do neon. All um, right. Very good. Ice blue. What about yours? Non-sailor. Go. Uh, favorite non-sailor from the year. Oh. Uh, you just got an Amiki. I did just get an Amiki. Uh, we'll talk about that next week. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So you make me? No, I'm just... Whatever. Know, whatever. Worst Christmas present. Worst like Christmas present ever? Um, <laughs> I once got a subscription to a... Beer Stein Collecting Guild. The big ones with the little, you know, the German. Yeah. Okay. That's that's the that's the one that comes 
thought I was like, oh, that's nice. But I actually, the, the deal was as though I had to buy them. What? She made you buy them? Oh my God, that's stupid. Um, I suppose my worst Christmas present was when, um, I don't know, can I, I'm just going to go there. Uh, my son was born on December 27th, but I thought I was in labor on Christmas Eve. So I went to the hospital and they sent me home. That was probably my worst Christmas <laughs> present. <laughs> um, Getting sent home? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. There's nothing like being rejected when you think you're in labor. <laughs> They're just like, get the heck out of here. <laughs> You'll be back soon enough. You, know, you never got like a vacuum cleaner or a dishwasher or anything like that? No, I don't okay. I don't think I'm sure that I got bad presents at some point. I don't okay. remember anything. All right. Moving on. Uh preferred Mont Blanc writer's edition pen, the Saint Jubery or the William Shakespeare? Oof, uh, Shakespeare. Shakespeare, I like Shakespeare. All right, ooh, oh my God, this is I hard. Was, I was gonna say. Um, John not, Lennon. Not, not, not John Lennon, not, he's, it wasn't a writer's edition, but uh, not the um, not the Swift, but the. Um, At Tolstoy? No, 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 the one before that. Oh. <laughs> I'm all about, I love the Marilyn, but, but that's, it's not, a that's not an option. Okay. If you created an ink, what color would it be? Um, a, well, we have. a dusty, dusty blue. Dusty blue. Gray, blue gray. Okay. I'd go with either a copper Ooh. or a dark purple. I like copper. That would be nice. I know. That's why I thought of it. Okay. Okay. What was the last YouTube video you watched? Um. We watched the Nip Noobs just because we have to keep well, track not, of what they're stealing from if, my if, desk. If you don't count what we, I'm. What was the last YouTube video you watched? That I purposely watched. Uh, it may have been how to fix my oven <laughs> temperature sensor. <laughs> Maybe. Um. I don't normally go on YouTube. I, I'm sure I clicked on something on Facebook. I watched that was, the Nip Noobs to see what Jason Kim stole from my desk. Okay. Ooh, favorite Namiki pen from the pilot Namiki event with John Lane. I know this one. The Ooh. owl. Oh. Yeah, that no, was... No, although um... the flower basket was cool. Chris calls it the pineapples. The pineapples, yeah, herb decoration. Um, oh. I like the dragonfly. Yeah. I got to admit, the there dragonfly so is nice. That were pretty. It has the, we'll talk about it, but the dragonfly on the section. It's yeah, that really, was cool. I mean, the owl's great. But you don't like the owl? I love the owl. I appreciate you getting that for me for Christmas. <laughs> Not no? going to happen. Ooh, best Christmas present ever. Uh, a trip to Chicago with you. That's better than a pen? Well, no, but I'm just trying to score points because, you know. What are you going to, what would you buy? Nothing. Okay. Uh, best Christmas present ever was, one of the most memorable was, um, my 75th anniversary, Aurora. I have a video of that somewhere. Yes. And I yelled at Sarge for selling it to you. Um, I don't know. This year is going to be pretty awesome. I'm getting my ice blue Namiki, and we are going out of town. Yep. Um, the kids are old enough that uh, we don't need to be home the whole weekend. And they won't so even notice we're gone. They won't even notice. We'll just come back in. Oh, hey, were you at the oh. store? Yeah. <laughs> How <laughs> we're was doing inventory. inventory. All right. So best Christmas present? Uh, I... Every Christmas with you is great. Oh, my God. Best Christmas present ever. I don't really have a best. All right. Preferred great characters, Inc., the Beatles or Miles Davis? Oof, that's tough. Um, I'm not really a, so much a purple guy, but it's a great purple. I had to go I had to go Beatles, I think. I'm I mean, I'm, that a, I'm, a, I'm a, a trumpet player, great. so Miles Davis is awesome, but... Yeah. That Miles, da you know, I think the Miles Davis is pretty. It, it Miles Davis works really well in an extra fine net, but I'm not an yes. extra fine guy because we had we did I that think we did that pen club. Extra fine. I'm honey. sure you do. Um, this is an awfully cheesy podcast. Um, but we did it's that allowed at, on the diet, so it is. We go. we uh, we did that at, at um, pen club. I forget who it was. We had an extra fine net with Miles Davis, and it was really great. 
the broader the nib on Miles Davis, the more it kind of washes out. Yeah. But uh, on an extra fine, you know, or a Japanese fine, it's a really, really good color. But yeah. I'm going to go with Beatles. I'm going to go with Miles Davis because the Beatles is, it's just a little bright. Okay. All right. You change your mind. Instagram or Facebook? Instagram. Ooh. Facebook. I can stalk all my family. I don't have to have family on Instagram. J. Herbin Anniversary Inks or Diamine Shimmertastic? Giovanni. Neither. 1798. Neither. Oh, that's a pretty one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like Emerald of Shabor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, absolutely. But both of you. Enough with the shimmer. Oh, my God. I think we're shimmered out. All right. Definitely 1798. Good New job. Year's resolution. Couldn't we have got these in advance? These are hard questions. Um, I don't. I don't usually do New Year's resolutions. I don't either. I don't wait. I don't. I, my belief is that if you're going to change something, you should make an effort to change it and you don't wait. There's no reason to start on January 1st. I'm cheating. I'm uh, cheating. I agree. I don't really do New Year's resolutions either. Um, I like to have goals and I try to choose like a word of the year and, and let that kind of be my mantra. I will probably pay more attention to my surroundings this year. I will delegate more. My word is boundaries, huh. as in expanding and being more mindful of. <laughs> it's pretty deep, right? Would you rather have 100 inks and one pen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or 100 pens and one ink? Easy. Yes. Wow. How about 100 inks <laughs> and 100 pens? Well, that would be, uh, you know, I don't need 100 inks. I, I 100 pens and one ink is for me. Which I, ink? I probably have 100 to 1 ratio. Probably I have more than that, but yes. um, which ink is it? Okay, that's a good question. Um, that's why I asked it. Well, which pen? You're going to choose 100 inks in one pen? No. <laughs> You're going to choose 100 pens in one ink? I don't no. Buy, I don't buy that for a minute. <laughs> no. Um, Can I have like 10 inks and like five pens? I would, if I had to choose one ink, I would probably pick Sailor Gentle Blue or Yamadori. Okay, Lisa. I, I narrowed it down to two. <laughs> I'm just saying. Probably Yamadori. Uh, I mean, assuming I can always get it. I would do Is like the assumption? five inks and five pens. Well, you don't have that option. It, you got um, 100 inks and one pen or 100 pens and one ink. Apparently, write-ins are popular right Oh, now. apparently. Okay. <laughs> All no, right. I, I, I just, I like, I've always, I've always said I, I like, I, I enjoy the pen experience yes, more so do. than I do the, the ink experience. Yes, you Although do. there are some really great inks. I guess I would have to go with one pen and a hundred inks if those are my only options, but I don't like restrictions. So can I have your other pens? No. You got a couple that I do go like. Go away. You said we could share. I never said that. Not and meant it. I'm, I'm sure if I we go share. back into some of the podcass, you said you would share. I lied. Okay. I had my I had my toes crossed. You just couldn't see it. Anyway, uh, last week, <sighs> Pilot and Miki event, John Lane was awesome. here. Awesome to see him. Um, he always brings great stuff, and he brought He some brought snow. a ton of it. Not the snow, the pens. Yeah. He brought a ton of pens. He was here back in February of 2016, and I think he brought a handful. <clears throat> yeah, he brought a good, good amount last year. He brought a big binder full this time. It was nice. They were several, several emperors, um, several Yukaris. Several stayed with us. Well, not emperors. Well, no, we sent those back. Yeah, uh, Yukari Royales, Yukaris. Um, the dragonfly was amazing. Did that go home? No, that's here. Oh, that's here. Um, Milky Way Yukari. Mm. Um, those are cool. There's some really beautiful stuff. Um, Shooting Star, I think the other one. You know, um, we, we love Japanese pens. We are huge Sailor fans, but I got to tell you, those Miki Maki Miki is right up there, man. Are, the Owl, mm. the Dragon, um, they're all, all really good stuff. So uh, it was fun to play with them. Do we, do we know how many he left? Yeah, I can, if I walk down there, I could. And do we know how many are still there? About the same amount that are left. I'm just checking. I didn't Under take on your desk? No, no, no. Not yet? Ass. Nope. Okay. Nope. Just checking. I mean, you heard it here. He said... I, I almost bought you one, though. Oh, which one? I can't say. I'm still in negotiation. But Woo! anyway, it was good to, it was good to, to get some, some input, some back and... Not input, but some back and forth with John uh, as to what's, 
what's coming out this next year. We can't say what's coming out. How big is it? How big is what? The pen you're negotiating. It's too big for you. <laughs> some very cool new things. Uh, we're excited. Yeah, some good, yeah. good stuff coming in 2018. Um, really excited about that. Just a lot of things have been slowed down by um, everyone over in Japan at Pilot working on the 100th anniversary, 100th anniversary. pen, which uh -huh. means that all of their artisans are working on that project um, instead of some of the other uh, stock pens. So it's been a little challenging to get some of the higher end Namikis. Yeah, uh, and it'll it'll continue to be that way for a yeah, while. Yeah, until until through October uh, at the at the very least. So it'll be worth it though. Yeah. Um, so good stuff coming. Um, we have a question of the week. We do. And I have another topic I'm reminding we have to talk about. Oh, do I know about this? Yeah, well, you do. I just yeah, I keep meaning to put it on the list. Oh. Does this involve you getting pens? No, it does not involve. Okay, me getting then pens. we can talk about it. All right, question All right. of the week. Oh, God. I recently watched the Mr. Paper's Top 5 Notebooks mm -hmm. video and was wondering which notebook or paper is your favorite. This one. You do love those. Petite Notes by Toya. Do I have to pick one? No. Oh, God. Um, you know, I'm really simple. I like just a Rhodia or a Clairefontaine top staple bound perforated legal pad. You don't like the Graffila? I do like the Graffila. Okay. I like the Nemesine. I like the right, sequins because so, they fold up. So Lisa up. can't pick. <laughs> she can't make a Wait, choice. Top five. Does that mean we get to pick five? I'm not picking five. All right. No. No. Uh, paper blanks. I love the paper blanks. They're so pretty. Yeah, I can't decide. All right. There's She's indecisive today. Store. She's indecisive. All right. So. So um, we're not going to talk about the weekend trip? We will. Uh, okay. I want to mention something before I forget it, uh, which I should have mentioned before. Um, pricing on Edison. Yes. Edison pens, Collier, Perlette, Beaumonts um, are going up effective January 1st. Um, so if you're interested in getting a Collier, you're interested in getting that persimmon swirl, that antique marble, uh, any of those new Perlettes, uh, time to do so is now. Um, before they go from 149 to 169, they're yes. going up 20 bucks. I mean, um, but anyway, we have we have a bunch on order. We have a bunch in stock. So um, if you grab interested, them now. grab them now before the price goes up. The so. Usual end of the year price increases for a number of companies. So. Um. Um, and that's the only one we could talk about at this point. So yes, but there will be unfortunately some other price increases uh, January 1st. But uh, as soon as we get Official notice to talk about those. We'll talk yep. about them. But anyway, where are we going this weekend? We are going to Chicago. We are. We, some of you may remember, we went for a uh, vacation. Very belated. Honeymoon uh, after seven years. Um, and uh, really had a great time. We actually joined the Art Institute as members, uh, which we hoped would force us to uh take a couple vacations and, and drive down there. So we are going down Saturday after work and we are coming home Monday, Christmas Day. Um, we'll celebrate with the kids later that afternoon, but uh, we're going to go down, um, eat, go to the... Uh, Walk around, shop. Oh, shopping? Yes. Well, apparently we're shopping. We're shopping. Um, go to the uh, Chris Kindle Mart. And we're going to go to the Art Institute and Miller's Pub, which we love. Corner Bakery for breakfast. Yes, absolutely. Yep. So. Are there any pen stores there? No. Uh, not that we'll be open on the yeah. weekend. So. So. All right. Well, anyway. we, we go to Mont Blanc. Oh, they have some pretty leather. They do. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's that's on our, our agenda for the week. Yeah, it'll um, be nice to get away. I don't know that I've ever been to Chicago during the Christmas season. Um, from what I can tell online, it's all lit up and, you know, all the shops. It's a windows. major metropolitan It'll be city, really, so. really pretty. So I'm excited about that. And just and get away. We can hold hands. We're opening presents? We are opening presents. Pens? Yes. Okay. So you can have a pen. You got to watch, too. I did. There you go. Anyway, there's that. Um, anything else you want to uh, hit? You know, I want to do a little shout out. I haven't done shout outs in a while. Okay. So a big shout out to our friends, Eddie and Marianne. Yes. Going through a rough time. 
So we send love and prayers and hugs to you guys. Uh, and to my mom and stepdad, uh, Bob recently had some surgery. And, um, you know, you reach a certain age and, and it's hard to be a good patient. So <laughs> Bob has never been one to be inactive. So I think the He's recovery yep. is uh, challenging to both of them because he can't be up and about uh, like he wants to be. So just send in uh, love and good thoughts. And my brother had surgery on his nose. The joke was I always wanted a nose job when I was young, and so he's the one who had nose surgery. So um, he's struggling with that. So, uh, and your grandma? Yes, yeah. Well, so, so grandma's anyway, having a hard family, time. Family, you can roll it up into family. Yep. So, so there's that. All right. Um, I guess the next time we, we see everybody, it will be after Christmas. So hope everybody has a good holiday season. Um, I think we are pretty much in the home stretch here. Pretty much any orders that come in are not pretty much not going to make it. May or may not. No guarantee at this point. Because um, uh, Christmas is Monday and there will be no mail delivery. Yeah. Well, unless it's maybe express. Unless but it's I'm express. So not yeah, even sure if about you that. do need something express, call the store. Call the store. 920-997-8220. Um, that's the only way to do it. So, um, give us a call and we'll be happy to help you out if we can. So, um, other than that, I think that's it for this week. Yep. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, and tune in next week for uh, more talk about pens, ink, and paper. And find out what Brian got for Christmas. There you go. I have to do that. Yes. Follow our blog for news. How many times have we done this? I know. I just, I'm, it's time to mix it up. Uh, news, ink reviews, all sorts of cool videos, and follow us on social media as Anderson Pets.